All right, good morning, everybody. It is four, not five o'clock in the morning, and Eastern time zone, I'm Central. I am in Indiana and just finished up the Thanksgiving holiday. I am en route to my first ever sanctioned bike race, my first ever organized event of any sort on the bike. So I'm super stoked about that but I'm a little nervous. Um, it's my first event, my first race, and I am doing an off-roads 60 mile gravel grovel. Um, it's put on by the Dino Series in Indiana, do Indiana Outdoors, I think is what that stands for, mountain biking, trail running, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I signed up for this to do it with my brother. Um, this'll be a beast. It, I'm riding a mountain bike, which I've never ridden before. It's a brand new bike. I've been out on it for just a few short minutes. I'm gonna swap saddles and put on what should in theory be a more comfortable saddle before I do the ride. So that's a bad idea. Um, there are water crossings, single track, like I said, unmaintained fire roads, gravel roads. It's windy, it's cold. It sounds like a great idea. I mean. What could possibly go wrong? Anyway, I haven't had any coffee yet. That's the next item on the agenda. Get some caffeine in me, get some food in my belly, and uh, we'll see you down the road. All right, guys, I've been traveling for an hour and a half, and the sun is just now coming up. Ah, oh, just want to go to bed. Oh, Christmas lights. Check it out. Anyway, I'm about 30 minutes out. I don't know if I'm going to lose cell reception. I should sometime soon. Um, I spent the first 18 years of my life in Indiana. And this is the first time I've ever seen a hill in Indiana. I didn't know there was any elevation. So it actually looks uh, somewhat similar to Nashville. Not quite as hilly, but uh, I've got a little ways to go still. And I know the ride today is supposed to have about 5,000 feet of elevation change over 60 miles and so that's comparable to a if I were to ride 60 miles at home on the road that's probably about what I would get in terms of elevation so it should be pretty comparable to um, riding at home with the added twist that, uh, of the fact that I'm not going to be on a road so that should be interesting should be tough I'm looking forward to it <music> Dude, I'm, thir I'm impressed with the hills. Yeah, man. Yeah, like, looks like home. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome out here. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah, get a good look at the lake. Yeah, several times. Yeah, it's beautiful. Did you come from that same way? 440? Yeah. Yeah. It's such an easy drive down here from, from my place. It was like a little under an hour and a half. Uh, real nice. <laughs>
Alright y'all, yo, so the ride is over, I put a shirt on for this video because I didn't have one on because my arms didn't have the strength to pull the shirt over my head a few minutes ago, but I finished the gravel gravel 60 mile ride and it was terrible terrible it hurt so bad mm. I told myself I looked at the winning times from last year and the, the guys that win they ride cyclocross bikes and they are pretty much pros and they I think they ran it in three and a half hours and I said you know what maybe I can do four and a half hours maybe if I'm feeling fantastic I can do four hours I'd like a good idea even though I've never ridden single track or gravel or a mountain bike I thought I could pull that off so 20 miles in I was on pace 
we averaged 15 miles an hour for the first 20 miles. That'd have put us at a four hour pace. I'd have been thrilled. It took me six hours, six, six, at the roughly 25 mile marker, I cramped in places I didn't know you could cramp. My legs cramped up so bad, so very bad. When I looked down at them, there were golf ball sized lumps just sticking out. It hurt so bad it couldn't even bring me to my knees because I couldn't bend them. Terrible. And not just my quads, it was my quads, my hamstrings, my butt was cramping, my butt. Oh, at mile 25, 60 mile ride. So for the next 35 miles, I had to crawl back every time the road went to 0.1 degree incline my legs started to cramp up again so bad thankfully the cramps came after my two crashes because i did that too thankfully both of my crashes occurred while traveling less than three miles per hour the first one was on a steep single track section with some roots and I came up too quick on my brother and kind of just nudged into the back of him and didn't get my foot out and did a I don't know how to track stand so I just fell over on my side but the second one sucked the second one was up a steep slippery rock that I didn't see coming and when I looked up and saw it it was too late and the bike just went straight out from underneath me and my hand came down on a sharp rock and it stabbed my hand and bruised it and shot and jarred my arm up into my neck into my shoulder I hit so hard and so I spent the next three or four hours on my bike only able to ride with one hand while my left claw kind of touched the handlebar. And it was really great during the single track as I went down steep technical descents and my hands just jarred over and over and over into every root and rock. It felt great. But I did it finished it at mile 25 I was looking for somebody to carry me back that's the thing about this ride is that even if you want to quit you can't because there's no way to get back the only way to get back is to ride your bike and so while I wanted with every ounce of my energy to quit and oh my goodness if someone pulled up with a pickup truck and said hop in I I'd like to say I wouldn't have done it Oh, but man, at that moment, I mean, when you can't literally, literally can't bend your legs and are wanting to scream like a little girl, I don't know what else you're supposed to do. So I walked like Frankenstein with my bike up this huge hill with this really steep incline. It was awesome. The gravel. I've never ridden on gravel before. Gravel sucks, sucks, literally and metaphorically. It literally sucks all of your energy out from you. Just when you think you're gonna put out some watts, nope, gravel sucks it up, chews it up, it's gone. Oh my goodness, what it, it's so easy on the road bike to do 18 miles an hour. And it was torture on the gravel to do like 13. And let me tell you about gravel. Having never ridden on gravel before, going downhill at 35 miles an hour and turning on gravel? Nah. Nope. 
ridiculous. I don't know how people do it. There were people flying past me on cross bikes and I'm on this big burly mountain bike and they're just whoosh, no idea. So sketch my everything was sketchy. I know what my problem is. My problem is I'm staring straight down at the ground because I'm scared to death. I need to be looking ahead. Blah 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 blah. Well, whatever. Just scared the tar out of me. But I finished. I finished. I did it. Never hadn't ridden my mountain bike. Never hadn't ridden single track except with my son at three miles an hour. Never having ridden on gravel. And I finished. I did it. Did I make my time? Not even close. But I think I might be a little better off because of the adversity. Maybe it made me a better man. I don't know. Anyway, gravel, gravel, not for the faint of heart. But if you're looking for a grueling challenge, it's well worth your time.